everyone, it's me JP from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to add a password on any video file using a video player in Windows computer. So, without any further delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see I have a video file on my desktop screen. So, let me try to play it. So, you can see I can play it. So, this video is not a password protected video file right so how to add a password on this video using a video player so for this just open any web browser and in the google search just search for the application name as greenforce player and now you can see on the second list uh, developer website just click on it now on the right side you can see our releases below you can see your greenforce player just click on it now you can see here uh, two files that is one .exe that is a setup and one is a greenforce player .exe so you can download either the first one or the second one also the second one is a portable one so if you don't feel like installing this software on your hard disk of your respective windows computer then you can try this portable one this second one is a portable and if you want to install this software on your hard disk of your respective windows computer then you can download this first one so here i'm gonna download the portable version so i'm gonna download this second one so wait for a few seconds until the downloading is done so the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it's been downloaded and let me close this web browser so now just double click it to run this software so it's downloading the codex but for a few seconds so now the player has been started right so let me drag a video here right so you can see it started to play right now let me pause it now on the app up you can see here one option written as drm right just click on it and now you can see here our option protect video or audio file just click on it now you can see here under the general tab below there is a box to type a password right so let me type a password and just re-enter your password so now you can see here on the above the locations where you want to save the file right so let me change it so I will just keep it in the desktop I'll just write the name as test and I'll click on save but not one thing here the extension is gfp that means it's a greenforce media player file right so this file will get open only with this respective player that is the greenforce player if you save it with this gfp then you can click on save now you can see here a new video file has been created right so let me close this window so now just let me open try to open this file or the video file so now you can see it's asking for a password so unless and until you enter the password of this respective password protected video file then you won't be able to play so say if i don't put a password and just click on cancel then you don't play this video file right so let me put the password and now you can see I can play this password protected video after putting the password of this respective video so there is one more tricks if you don't feel like downloading again the video player that is the greenforce media player then you can just go to the DRM again and just select this protect video or audio file and 
just put a password again and re-enter your password now instead of .gfp format we can create one different format that is .exe so you can see below one option exe just enable this and now you can see the .gfp file is converted into .exe now once you select this option create standalone exe file for redistribution that means if you save this passport protected video in the .exe format then you won't need this video player to play this password protected video file because so once you select this option that you can see here this option then this video player will be included with this video file so after that let's click on save so now you can see here a new file is created right so let me show its properties so it's a dot exe format right so now what i will do i will try to delete this software i have permanently deleted the software right still you can see the icon of this player right so if i double up click it then you can see here it's directly showing the video player right so now you can see here the below file is a dot gfv format so let me show its properties again to make you confirm so dot gf P, right so let me try to double left click it so you can see here you will need a new app to open this dot gfv file so here the advantage of saving a video format in the dot exe using a green force player is that now you will get a, an included media player that is the green force player on the .exe format so you can see here the green force player is included along with this password protected video so in my opinion it's a very good video player to add a password on any video file on your respective windows computer so if you never known about this cool video player that can add a password on any video file then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.